Hi guys, welcome. I finally reached level 35, and in the level 35 picks you can get this Kelly Smith icon card. There's also an 87 plus icon pack, and also an 84 by 20. But yeah, we're going to purchase this Centurions icon Kelly Smith, take it into some games with foot champs, and give my thoughts and review on this card to see if it's worth taking or not. But yeah, she's coming in at around 220k. It looks a real decent card. But yeah, onto some of the face card stats, she has 89 pace. 91 shooting with 91 dribbling as well 86 passing 47 defending and 78 physical she is 5 6 with high medium four star four star left footed she can play striker and center forward and then onto some of the in-game stats 92 attack positioning 93 finishing with 94 long shots she has 93 free kick accuracy for the play style plus as well 92 curve also 92 reactions ball control and dribbling with 91 composure 88 head and accuracy 85 stamina and 83 strength and yeah she's an arsenal women's icon she also has the finesse shot power header first touch aerial and then the dead ball specialist plus so yeah that's the card let's get on to the team all right so here's the team it's a full arsenal ladies and men's team in goal we have check a right back we've got alex scott i wanted to get the ucl version but i didn't have enough coins for it center back is saliba and williamson at left back is Katie McKay with the radioactive evolution. At DM is Declan Rice. At centre mid is Odegaard and Kim Little. A right wing is the evolution finisher Havertz. And then left wing is Martinelli. And then up top we have Kelly Smith. And yeah, also this is going to be the bench I'm using. It's still all Arsenal players as well. So yeah, with that said and done, let's get into the gameplay. Alright guys, so that's my foot champs qualification done. I got four wins and one loss, which is decent. And also I replaced Odegaard with Patino just to try to get his evolution done quicker. But yeah, on to my review of this Kelly Smith Icon Centurions card. 
She got nine goals and one assist in five games. It says six, but I had a guy quitting nil nil, so yeah, it's got an extra game on it. But yeah, onto how she feels in game, she feels super rapid and the dribbling feels nice as well. It's tempted to put an engine on her and try her out as a winger to see if it's any different and feels any better. But yeah, as a striker, she was good at shooting and finishing, was class. And her aerial threat was surprising as well, considering she's 5'6". She won a couple of headers and scored a couple too, I think. Her set pieces are brilliant as well. I've rarely used this dead ball specialist plus, but it's real nice for corners as well as free kicks. I even managed to score one, which was the first free kick I've scored on this game so far. And yeah, the only annoying thing is you can't have her on the end of receiving corners and taking them as well. Because yeah, she has the aerial and power header to go with it as well. But yeah, overall, I'll probably give this card an 8 out of 10. And yeah, onto the main question, who am I taking for the level 35 reward? I probably won't be taking this card and instead going for the 87 plus icon pack. Because there's a Thunderstruck Soul Campbell and Thierry Henry in there that I want to chance at. I'm probably going to regret it, but it is what it is. But I do think it's worth taking this card though. Although with Team of the Year around the corner, she'll probably get filtered out quite quickly and become less overpowered when more overpowered cards get released during Team of the Year. But yeah, with that all said and done, that's going to conclude the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, comment, subscribe and all that. And yeah, that's me. I'm out.